The 12 protesters were sent to the Kropon District Court on Tuesday against 8. They were charged with conspiracy to commit crime, to wait rioting, rioting with weapon and unlawful damage. KMA says these 12 individuals were not arrested just because they are tricycle operators, but because they were involved in the attack of police officers and damage of properties. They came to where we have kept their vehicles. Some of them attacked the police officers. Some of them threw stones. Some of them resisted the efforts for, the, as the police were telling them, to leave the scene. Some of them were, were, were fighting back. And so these were the people that were actually arrested. It could be that some of them are tricycle operators. I can't say all of them are Pragya drivers, but whoever was there and was part of the mob that were causing uh, the disturbance, blocking the road for other vehicles to pass, were the ones that were arrested. Leadership of the tricycle operators have already condemned the attack on the police by their members. We dissociated ourselves from what happened yesterday, but today we are here to make sure that what happened yesterday, at least it won't happen again. But you see, the problem is the KMA people to, should try to comply on one or two things so that things will be normal. As we had a meeting with the police commanders, they said any Pragya driver who got to the restricted area should be sacked to go back, not to arrest. Look at this place as we are. So far, over 40 tricycles have been impounded as part of the enforcement directives. Compliance level is beginning to show up as police officers have been deployed at vantage points to prevent these tricycle operators from entering into the central business district. City authorities say they will continue with this enforcement until they see total compliance. Ibrahim Abubakar, TV3 News, Kumasi.